Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Rise of Nation Roblox videos. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this video and now here I made it. Also before we get any further, I apologize for not making any video for a long time. This is due to my laptop, you know my old laptop, it, the GPU, the fan GPU broken so I need to fix it. So yeah, without any further to do, let's jump straight into the video. So guys, first of all, I just want you to understand the basic concept of economy inside Rise of Nation Roblox. So economy is very simple. It is a very, but it is a very big thing in the game. It's basically your country money, like the amount of money you have in and out, the amount of money you're doing trade, you know. If you have a big economy, it let you manage your nation and this in this case your nation will have a very good stability and it also um helped you to make military you know tanks aircraft and ships and you can use that i mean you can use those money to make mines and then get resources and then you can trade those resources for more money so yeah economy is a very big thing in this game but remember guys if your economy is bad you remember that you will be in debt and you will have a 15 percent stability um penalty into your country so you see this is the economy tab so you can either do this by clicking on your flag right here click it on it and then go to economy so you'll see about you know your tax your resource trade war reparation and puppet and your expenses or a simpler way you can just you know just playing the game and you want to open the economy tab you can just click e on your keyboard there we go you got the economy tab in this tab it let you monitor your spending your income your everything about your economy in the country okay so the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is which country to choose in order to have a strong economy so you might think china yes china is a very good one you start off rich and you're a socialist country but uh, in this case, when you have, you know, those resources, Russia is undoubtedly the best country in the world to play. So in order to check the resource, you can click here. You see this little button in the bottom right. Click on that and you can see all the resources you have. You know, oil. Russia have a lot of oil. Aluminium. We also have it. Steel. You know, steel you need to produce it so we don't have. Phosphate. We also have it. Diamond. We also have it titanium we got it iron we have a lot of it so you know russia basically have everything and plus if you want to you know like form the soviet union you see all these resources in the former soviet state so when you actually form the soviet union you will be like owning half of the world resources all right guys so the next thing i want to talk to you about here is about balance between your income and your expenses so if you guys don't know what is income and what is expenses i'll explain you real quick so income is basically the amount of money that you're earning in so you see this income you're earning three million from tax and three hundred thousand from resources and your expenses your your military upkeep you only uh, spend around ninety nine hundred thousand so but if you're spending more than you earn as you can see here you're spending 10 million and you only earn around 3 million so your your money is going down 6 million all like constantly so if that happens you see this little thing here it says deficit so it says you are losing more money than you earn which is you know true because you only make 3 million and you're spending 10 million so the amount between it will be deducted from your economy and the next thing I want to show you guys about is how to check your income and expenses. So as you show, uh, as I showed you earlier, you basically click E, and then you can see all these things. You know how much you're earning from this, how how many, how much money you're losing. You know, so if you see this as a positive number, you're you're good, you're good, you're on track, you're making money. Or the other short way is just you see your flag right here. And there's a money treasury right here so you just hover put your mouse over it and you see that your income is more than your expenses so you have 
2.6 million balance so this will add up to your treasury all the time so your treasury now is about 400 million dollars so it keep on adding 2.6 million always if you don't have deficit unless you run out of money let's say you have 400 million and then you do something like very stupid and you lose 500 million so in that case you will be in you know negative 60 million dollars and in that case you will see this red button right here that says in depth and this affect your country not just by the money but your stability so your stability will have a 15 percent as i remember 15 percent penalty to, to your stability which is very important to your country because your stability if it's very low your country might break up into pieces and you don't want that so you see now my stability is very good 50 percent not good not bad so now let's talk about uh the way that you can earn your money so the first way that you can earn your money is through tax so if you go to your economy tab and then you see here tax contribute a ton into your economy so it's a, about like nearly 90 percent i guess i'm bad at math so you can see this tax but some of you guys might think that this is a fixed number and it cannot go up but wrong you're wrong so if you want more tax it's simple you either get more city which is basically invading other country for their city right here and i'll show you a way to check your tax so let's say you want to check a tax on moscow so you just scroll in you see this little red thing click on it you see here tax it contribute around six point six hundred forty five thousand to your total economy you want to check the tax of ufa it contribute a little but yeah it's a smaller city so if you don't want to invade other countries straight right away and you want to just you know get tax in a peaceful way you can develop your city so in order to develop a city you can click on a city go to buildings and click develop city develop city not only like increase your tax but it also increase your manpower but remember it costs you money so what I like to do is, you know, quick, you hold your control key, then you select the area that you want to develop your city in. So in this case, I just want to select every city in Russia like that. Here, you see 467 cities. So you see all of them select, just click on building, develop city. Yes, all your money will be gone, but trust me. Uh, your tax is 3.5 million now. I mean your income is 3.5 million now. Let's see after we developed all the city. How much will it be? Alright guys. So you know as I promised you earlier. You to, to check your tax after you develop your city. So now I have developed the city and it's done. So let's go check our income. Click E and you see here. The tax now increased by a whopping $700,000. So... Uh, developing city is you know very good way to earn money but it's not always the best thing to do like you don't just stay in one place and develop all your city your city will eventually get maxed out and you cannot longer develop those cities all right guys so the next thing i got here is also very profitable in this game so as i said earlier russia have a lot of resources so what you don't want to keep all of those resources at one place right yeah so in order to get profit from those resources you want to sell them you want to trade them but how can i trade to ais and what if they don't buy but guys trust me as you can see here we are a pretty poor country and if you look at other richer country like the united states of america right here you you will know that they have a lot of tax and they have a lot of everything they have a lot of money and they have you know they can spend a lot of money so what you want to do here i am in a vip server so you can trick ais to buy your product so you want to go your economy tab click e then you want to go resources and trade then you want to find a resource that the uh, you know the country you want to sell to doesn't produce let's say you the united states let's i have a lot of tungsten so let's sell it to them or maybe oil 
America love oil. So uh try to find the United States of America. Where is it? What? Where's the United States of America? Okay, I don't see it, but hold on. Okay, they, they have a bunch of oils. So let's say we want to sell them um, 20, 50 units per, per you know, per the trade. Click sell. Yes. And they will accept our trade. They're AI, so just don't worry. And we will get more income. You see, in the previous one, we got 4.7 million. And now we have 6.3 million. But if you stop your trading... Click on this and then you click on sell. Your income will drop from 6.3 million to 4.7 million. So yeah, selling resources is a very good way to get profit. The third thing that you want to do in order to get money is going to war. I, you know, um, going to war will make you lose a lot of money. But at the same time, it will give you a lot of money. So... Let me just go to war with Belarus real quick. So let me just select all my troop auto merge off and I'll put him here, right in Smolensk. And then just justifying war with Belarus and going war with them and see how our economy go up. So one more thing I want to point out here, uh, as I said earlier, the richer the country that you're invading, after you invade that country, the more money that you get. So let's say if I invade Belarus, I get only 10 million. But if I invade America, I get 500 million. So it also depends on the country that you're invading. Okay, guys, so our justification of war with Belarus is done. So let's kill Belarus real quick. Okay, so we're now at war with Belarus. Alright, guys, so Belarus has been captured. So uh, I'll show you how you can get money from war. So you can see here, um, if a country is, you know, they lost, their name will be red. So click on negotiate term and click on seize country treasury. This will give you 75% of Belarus treasury. Let's say Belarus have $100 million in its treasury. So if we click this and if we click send terms, they will give us $75 million. Demand war reparation, so they just gonna pay us, you know, to make our military great again. The loss in Belarus and annex city occupied. This uh, will annex the land, or you can make them a puppet state, but it's other thing. Puppet state is like, let's say I invade, I invade Poland. Puppet state, I don't actually get that land, but that land is still an independence country, but that land is like my children you give us money every time and you give us manpower Al although you are an independent state but you're under my control so what you want to do is click on this three thing click send terms yes and there we go my economy just boom up and also my manpower so yeah invading other country also give you a good grip on your economy the fourth thing i want to talk to you guys about here is about research and taxation law so you can see here my tax is 4.2 million so if i want to increase the tax without invading other country nor developing my city i can click a letter a on your keyboard or you can click your flag and then go to technology and then click on your economy and you can you look at your point if you have enough it, of it or not if you want more money, just go straight for the tax collector. You see here, it requires 150 research points, but it gives you 10% more tax. Okay, so my tax is 4.2 million right now. And if I click on this, let's see how much I go up. It's now, wait, it's not yet update. It's now 4.6 million. And if I still have enough points, I can go to the second tax collector. Now it is uh, 5.3 million. You see it keep on going up. And if I have another point, I can go research another thing. Tag collector, the third one. Now it goes up to 
6.6 million you see guys that's just keep on going up and it's a very great buff to your economy and then the other thing i want to show you is about taxation law go to your country and then you go to your economy right here and then go to economic law taxation law you know if you put high your uh, economy will be better but uh, because people pay more tax let's say now we have 6.6 .6 million and if we change it to high it is now 8.2 million but remember it it's also say here if you change your tax to high um, your stability will go down but your money will go up so but uh, if you put it too much you know maximum you will have a lot of money but your country might break apart so let me just change it back to normal so the last thing I want to talk about to you guys is what are those money used for so as I mentioned earlier it's a very big thing in rise of nation so the first thing it is used for is to make troops so you see I got this guys right here so what if I want to keep these guys in Europe and I want to make another guy in Central Asia so I can hold control and select a bunch of city click on unit you can either build infantry tank or anti-aircraft so in this case I'll, I'll click on infantry it says right here the description the most basic building block of one military average speed damage and durability the cost is one million so you expect that one division will cost you a million dollar from here upkeep is 20,000 so let's say we only build in this city let's say five like that so you will have to wait and you see the money going down that's because they use this money to make the military if I oh what <laughs> so if if I um, build another army here click on unit infantry you see my money is now 813 now 808 million dollars it goes down but you have more men and you see here my upkeep military it goes up too the more military I have the more of this will go up but you can use those military guys to invade other country and get more tax the next thing about using your money is I just explained it earlier in this video you develop your city select your cities click on building and then click wait click buildings and then develop so developing city costs you money but it also gives you back a lot of money the third thing about having money is buying resources so let's say I don't have just let's say I don't have enough uh, c copper or diamond I don't have enough diamond so I click on trade and you see South Africa have a lot of diamond so I I want to buy diamond from South Africa so I just click on you know the amount that I buy click buy and see here you're buying 15 unit of diamond for every five day from South Africa for 1.3 million so every day um, it costs you uh, 1.3 million dollars for five days I mean every five day it will cost you 1.3 million dollars and if you click yes you see your expenses you will go to your trade here and your balance of economy will go down but you will get those resources into your country see here it is adding 20 because you're trading so you can cancel the trade go to trade then click cancel the next thing about using money is sending aid to your ally let's say you are an uh, you are a friend with mexico and the united states it is invading mexico and mexico don't have enough money so you want to send him some money because you have uh, all this money that you don't need so you can click on one of their city any city that's in the country that you want to send the money to click on their flag then click send aid so the money you example i want to send him 10 million one uh just write 10 million and just uh, in order to send money you need to send a uh, some amount of manpower so just put one because all you want to, uh, for them is their money so click send it 
see here we have sent 10 million and zero manpower to Mexico so yeah the, that country will receive our money and they'll they'll do anything with it the fifth thing here is increasing your government spending so if you go to your country and then you go to your con uh, this one and then you go to your economy then you go to economic law you see your government spending is either non low medium or high uh, as you can see if you go from low to high your base stability will gain and there's a less chance of your country breaking up the war exhaustion reduction is zero point it, it also goes up and the political power gain is also going up so it is very good for a country very good for a people but what it is not good for is your economy let's say my expenses is 1.1 million and i change my government spending to high uh, and it will be 5 million so you see here government spending is 4 million it goes down a lot i mean the balance of economy goes down a lot but your stability uh, also you know going up fast so it, there's a less chance of your country breaking away so guys that is it for the video and i hope you enjoy this video and if uh, and help you understand the game better the concept of economy in this game if it helps or i miss anything in the video let me know in the comment below as always thank you bye and stay safe during these hard times